Hi there ladies and gents, welcome to at the Always Fit League and at Nutritech Fit's home training series. We are on day 12 of our free home training series. Um, yesterday was a nice active recovery day. We did quite a bit of skill work with the bar. We focused on cleans and we went overhead for the first time. And uh, we did a whole bunch of PVC and broomstick drills there. So I hope that went well. Today we're going a bit longer. We're going and, uh, to do some monostructure metabolic conditioning. Um, so it's a longer workout by, uh, there to build your cardiovascular fitness and stamina. Okay, so let's have a look what, this, what the workout is for today. Okay, so we've got the following. We've got to complete as many reps and rounds as possible in 20 minutes off, 50 single unders, if you can do double unders, you can also do double unders, but the level for which we're programming is, is for single unders. So 50 single unders, 40 sumo deadlift high pulls, which is a substitution for uh, rowing. You can, if you've got a rower, do 40 cows on the rower. And, and the sumo deadlift high pull weights 20 and 12. Otherwise, and then we're doing 30 10 meter shuttle runs. Okay, it's going to total 300 meters. So we're going 50, 40, 30. And we doing as many rounds as possible in 20 minutes. One round is going to give you 120 reps. If you end on a shuttle run, one 10 meter shuttle gives you one rep. Okay, let's look at the scaled variant. Pretty similar, 50 single unders, or you can also do jump claps. 40 sumo def hypels, lighter weight, 12 and eight, and if you're rowing, 30 cal row, it'll count for 40 reps, that 30 cal row. And then 30 times 10 meter shuttle runs, same as on the RX. The, it's also one round 120 reps, 10 meters equals one rep on the run. Exactly the same. Okay, so that's the workout on paper. Let's run through what we're going to do. So um, that workout is 20 minutes. It's a longer workout. So you can think of this workout as kind of like doing a... Um, a five kilometer run, more or less. Um, you need to uh, pace yourself carefully. If you start out with a fast sprint or go out too hard, you're going to redline really, really quickly. Like if you did 400 meters really fast on the run, you're going to be toasted for the rest of the workout. So start at a comfortable pace, see how you're feeling, see how your levels of fatigue are, and then adjust appropriately as you go along. Okay. Um, so, like I said, you can row, but if most people want to row, so we're going to do sumo dead of high pulls as the official substitution. I'm just going to show you the few apparatus um, that you might have at home. Okay, so you can do it with um, a barbell, um, a set barbell. This is the movement, just to show you what the movement is. Okay, you're going to hold the barbell, thumbs up, wide hips, and don't worry, we're going to drill this later. We'll run through the full technique. Thumbs up, wide hips. You're going to hold hook grip, okay? You're going to sit up in a sumo deadlift position with the feet wider. You're going to bring it to the knees, to the pockets. You're going to jump, pull up. So the movement looks like this. Knuckles to collarbone. That's the full movement. From the side, looks like this. I've got to get my knees out the way. So check how my knees come back, like with my deadlift. Clear my shins. When I get to my pockets, I put more power in. And... Keep the bar super close. Okay, making sure I get the right depth and height each time. So let's see, if you've got a kettlebell, it makes it a little bit easier. You don't have to worry about your knees, but still get them vertical. Okay, so from here, elbows are nice and high. Okay, ending in this position, high elbows. As if you're gonna elbow someone who's whispering in your ear. If I had a dumbbell, it's a bit more awkward, but you could possibly hold it like this. Okay, just on the head. Okay. Just touching the ground or just off the ground is fine. Basic any of my knuckles in at mid shin height. Okay. And obviously a lot of you won't have any equipment, so you can use a bag. This bag's a little bit big, unless I just rolled it up a bit. Otherwise, use a smaller bag with a handle, something like this, okay? And um, I'd probably hold it like this, kind of on the 
straps, otherwise you can hold on the handle. Um, I might hold it like this on the edge and just, this bag weighs about 10 kgs, nearly 12 kgs, so it'll um, obviously need to put more weight in, but from here, same thing, same movement, elbows high, you can see. Okay, so, try and get a bag that's fairly low, elbows hold it on its side maybe, like this, that might be better to make sure you get depth. Okay, otherwise if you slide this out, you're off, it's not the end of the world. You can also make up something I have shown you previously uh, with a towel. You can make your own bag by a towel, putting some weights in it, like this, wrapping it up. Let me show you. Getting the right weight, wrapping it up, getting a cable tie or a piece of wire or something, rolling it up. You can make a nice handle and you'll be able to do, you know, something like this with it as well. Okay. Works pretty well. So just some ideas there. Otherwise, a bucket. Uh, I've seen one of our members uh, do it with a poiki course, um, a poiki uh, um, pot. So yeah, gas canister, anything guys use. So um, next, single unders. Remember it's skipping. Um, we gonna just run through that. We have ran through that previously. I'm gonna do it again. Just to remind you, otherwise, go look at some of the other sessions you should have gone through in order. Remind you to go through in order because we build on progressions. So, if you're standing on the rope, two ends of the rope should come to bottom of my armpit to the top of my armpit, where my arm is horizontal. So, um, middle of the armpit for me is where mine is set, and that's perfect. When I start skipping, I'm going to skip with the rope behind the back of my knees holding my hands forward. This is going to stop it hooking on my heels, which is really important. I'm going to hold the handle halfway, okay, halfway, and when I skip, I'm going to go down around, and when I start skipping, my, if you think of you doing a bicep curl or some weights, I'm going to bring my hand, my elbow back. This is going to make my hand be in front of my hips and my elbow behind my hips, okay? I'm going to tuck my elbows in, and that's where I'm skipping. So I'm shaking my arm, in this position with my thumb facing out and my fingertips forward. Okay, so that's the position for skipping. I'm not going to have straight arms and rotate from my shoulders and I'm not going to use my wrists. I'm going to shake from my elbow, bicep flexion extension, and I'm shaking my wrists. Okay, so just um, some, I'm a bit, this roof's a bit, ceiling's a bit low, yeah? Single under, down around, and then start skipping. Okay, nice little single skips. Nice and relaxed, jumping straight up and down, straight up, straight down, no parking, no donkey kicks, okay, straight up and down, nice and relaxed, nice, good singles, so good singles lead to good double unders over time, so really practice your singles and get them being efficient, if you battle with double unders today, rather do this workout, single unders as it's the standard, and focus on getting all 50 reps, try go unbroken, okay. Um, other key factors, try and relax those shoulders, try and hold on too tightly onto the handles and um, try and relax with the jumping and try and catch your breath during those 50 single unders. It shouldn't take too long, about 30 seconds at the most, um, unless you need to break it up further. So use that time to skip nice and relaxed. Okay, running. Obviously, you're to clear a 10 meter area. If you don't have 10 meters, you might have to make it down to five. You can do 60 shuttles. It's going to be a little bit more uh, monotonous than doing 30 10 meter shuttles. Remember, I have shown you previously when we're going to step. Okay, so I'm running and I need to turn. I'm going to cross step in line with my beacon. So this leg's going to step across. I'm going to turn and run back out. When I'm running this way, I'm going to step across, plant my foot, turn step back out, okay, on the running. We have reviewed that previously. Um, and look, that's the three movements. Okay, to warm up, we'll go through the, the drills for some of the pull now. Um, but to warm up, we're gonna go 20 times 10 meter shuttles at a moderate to brisk walk, jogging, or running at a comfortable pace. We're gonna go five, 10 meters, um, of side running or jogging or 
or stepping, depending what level you are. So just like this, side tracking. Okay, if you look from this way, it's basically not crossing my legs, just side tracking or side type skipping. Okay, um, next we're going to go uh, karaoke. With karaoke, we've done this before, you're stepping forward or to the left with my left leg. I keep stepping out, stepping out. The right leg goes backwards, forward. Open that. So step out, right leg goes forward. Step out to the left, right goes back. Step out, right goes forward, step out, right goes back. And then op the opposite for the other direction. Okay, so one more time. There, going back, leading with the right leg. Same thing. 10 meter lengths, five of them. Next, we're just gonna warm up our shoulders as per usual. Okay, nice big circles, forward, backwards. Remember all the positioning drills that we've done for the shoulders, keeping good posture, um, open close. Okay, in diagonal. Okay, and then we're gonna go lying flat on our backs. We're doing our kicks, left and right, like this, keeping the shoulders flat on the belly. Over the back, scorpion kicks, touching toes to the ground. Okay, and uh, go review those from previous, previous few episodes. I showed those on the ground. And then um, we're going to do some opposite hand kicks. Okay, loosening up my hip extensors. Okay, so I'm aiming for my opposite hand. So I'm going to put my hand out here and I'm going to kick across. Don't try and kick too high to start. Keep this other foot planted on the ground. You don't want to lose your balance and fall on your back. Okay, as you warm up, you can kick a little bit more aggressively. Okay, next, we're going to do some floor sweeps. So you're going to do a, a little squat, quarter squat. Okay, so look here. Quarter squat, knees go out. Weight on the back leg, front leg is unloaded. Flat foot, lean forward, as if I'm going to be doing a deadlift. Okay, and now I'm going to sweep the ground here. Sweep the ground. And then I'm going to change sides. Other side, squat, the other leg forward. Weights on the back leg, this leg unloaded. I lean forward, big chest, sweep the ground, sweep the ground. Okay, try and keep that back straight. You can globally bend it a bit, so you can globally round it a bit, but I prefer to keep it straight. If you pull your toes up, you're going to feel it more nearly, the back of the knee, so you can play between it, have the foot flat sometimes, pull the toes up. Uh, some other times, mix them up. Okay, um, into some heel toe rocking. Okay, just calf raises, toe raises. Okay, 10 or 20 of those guys. Then we're gonna go into single unders. Remember the substitution for single unders. If you don't have a rope, that's fine. If you can't find something around the house, a piece of rope or something that you could use, then just do jump claps. So remember, standing. Feet in a comfortable position on the hips, so you just jump, tap at the top. Okay, same position for arms, to so practice your skipping. There, hands are back, and I'm clapping where my hands will be rotating. When I'm in the top of the jump, at the apex, I clap. So, jump, clap, jump, clap, jump, clap, jump, clap. Okay, that's your jump claps. So do 20 of those in the warm up. And some single unders, if you want to do double unders, you can do some double unders for those that would do that. And then we're going to do our simulated five pulls. So let's just review the technique. You can use any implement. You can use a barbell, a PVC pipe, kettlebell. So let's show you the kettlebell. Okay. So a lot of you will have a kettlebell or a bag. So from here, okay, line up in the middle of my, with the middle of my feet. I'm going in a wider stance, so shoulder width. I'm going to go to a sumo deadlift position, so I'm not squatting like an air squat, my hips are higher, grabbing as many fingers on the grip as I can, whether it's a bag or whatever. From here, same with my deadlift, bring it to my knees, make sure my knees clear out the way, if you're looking from the side, okay, bring it to my pockets, stand tall, squeeze the glutes. So you can do some segmented sumo deadlifts here, two, three, pockets, two, three, stand and squeeze my glutes, and one more like that. Mitchin, knees, pockets, stand tall, pausing three seconds. Next, you can just do some normal deads, sumo deads. Okay. Next, we're going to do the high pull portion from the hips. So, from a high hang, I'm going to pull to this position. Elbows high and wide, 
Basically, handle to my collarbone, knuckles to my collarbone, elbows high and wide. Okay, I'm using my hips to jump and get the swing going. Okay. Next, we're going to go and combine these two. So I'm going to take it from the ground to that hip high hang position from there. I'm going to put a little bit of power in from my hips, put it to my collarbone. Okay, so from here, back down. Okay, from the front, same thing, get to the pockets, some power. And that's your summit of apples. Great substitution for rowing, nice light weight, don't go too heavy. Uh, 20s RX, or the standard here, and 12 for ladies, 16 and 10 on the light program. Was, weigh yourself out the bag and get sorted with that. Okay, um, mobility work, just quickly, running through them, we've done these lots of times, go look at day, yesterday's training, we touched all of these, couch stretch, okay, or foot against the wall stretch, driving the hips forward, 20 to 30 seconds each side, okay, we've got our knee opposite shoulder stretch, this one, <clears throat> Okay, pulling my knee to opposite shoulder. We've got our straight leg raise stretch. Pulling straight back, pointing my toes like a ballerina. After 30 seconds, 10 foot pumps. Repeat both sides. Next, um, we've got our thoracic spine. Stretch, you can get a pillow or a, um, a foam roller. Otherwise, just get pillows, maybe a continental pillow. Double it over or triple it over on the ground. I'm going to hold on to something behind me. A table leg will also do. You don't have to have a weight. Okay. Uh, if you've got a very tight thoracic spine, go check yesterday. Out. I showed some T spine smashing with the foam roller if you've got. Okay. Otherwise, you can just cut off a PVC pipe, cut off your down pipe on the side of your house. Okay. And use that. Okay. So from here. Lifting my butt super high, okay, knees are bent, grabbing, reaching overhead, straight arms, dropping my bum to stretch, holding it 20 to 30 seconds to release the stretch, lift the butt. What I can do is I can hold lower down on the apparatus and drop my butt lower. That's going to stretch more. Okay, T-spine stretch overhead, and then we're just going to finish with the calf stretch. Okay, running and Jumping, okay, just there, decreasing the angle between the knee and the ground, keeping the heel on the ground, good foot position as if you're walking. Okay, that's it, ladies and gents, enjoy that workout, uh, 20 minutes of fun, um, longer workout, remember to pace from the start, and you can always pick up the, the pace as you feel, depending on how you feel as you go along. Okay, great, thanks, have a great day, enjoy the training, follow us at Always Fit League, and at Mishchek Fit. God bless. Keep safe.